protein, vegetables, and plastic? Well, most of us are consuming small bits of plastic every day. We ingest, on average, according to a study done last year, about five grams of these microplastics on a weekly basis. If you think about it, that's almost the size of a credit card per week. New studies show the level of microplastics in human brains has increased by 50% over the past eight years. And there's a slight association with cognitive impairment. Some research has linked microplastics to heart disease, Alzheimer's, and dementia. It is also being found in arteries that supply blood to the brain. We're just learning now according to a study done in the New England Journal of Medicine just last year, that people who will come in for an end arterectomy, which is a surgical procedure to address the plaque clogs up these large arteries that feed the brain, that if they analyze the plaque under a microscope, they're not only seeing oxidized cholesterol, which we already knew, but they are seeing jagged edges of microplastics under an electron microscope causing the concern that we may be seeing some of these microplastics also accumulate in our blood vessels. Researchers say most microplastics are ingested through our food, especially from meat bought at the grocery store. Many scientists say the rise of microplastics in our food is directly correlated with the Earth's pollution problem. A study last year in Nature revealed the world pumps out 57 million tons of plastic pollution each year. Improperly disposing of plastic is leading to these microplastics finding their way into our food and water supply. And now there's no way to remove microplastics from the body, but our livers and kidneys help remove some of it through our waste. So how do you avoid microplastic? Well, doctors say ditch plastic water bottles, utensils, and Tupperware to start. Purchase organic foods to avoid pesticide exposure and eat smaller fish rather than bigger catches as larger fish tend to accumulate more microplastics. For News Nation, I'm Anna Koyman.